Thank you for Patreon now for donating to the Patreon. Hey guys, it's Vandiesel, back again with another LBX Little Battles Experience video. If you guys enjoyed, and like, comment, subscribe, and let's get on started, shall we? In the last one, we ended up facing Kaz, as he had a new LBX, Pharaoh, but apparently Pharaoh was possessing him. Who could have guessed? And we unlocked a new power in Achilles, which I have no idea what it's called. He just glowed yellow and started killing people, but apparently the bad guys know what it is. I think it's called V-Mode or some crap like that. So, whatever. But Kaz ended up getting a new LBX, or at least a temporary LBX, from our good old friend Ken at the shop. And it is called Gladiator. But first, I'm gonna, uh, do this, because I don't want Kaz being able to use items outside of my permission. So, Kaz got a new LBX called Gladiator. And actually, this is a perfect episode for me to start explaining some certain things. And I'll do it, because this is a side episode, by the way. So, if you want to know, the first, like, ten minutes max will be story. Everything else afterwards will basically be me fucking around. So... You know, you know, um, Kaz has just gotten a gladiator. It's a new LBX. It is a brawler frame? Brawler frame. Sure, we'll call it a brawler frame for now. What a brawler frame is, you may ask? I will discuss later when we get into, um, story time. Now, you might want to see, um, gladiator in action. And if you want to see gladiator in action, well, too bad. Wait, don't worry. We are going to do it in this episode. We're going to show it off. But for now, let us progress the story so I can actually keep my promise on the first 10 minutes being story-based, and then after that, we'll go fucking around as much as I wish. Sorry about that, my computer's having running problems. Anyways, yeah, we're gonna head to the school first, so, you know, we can progress the story in the first 10 minutes, so I can actually keep my promise. And then we're gonna, uh, we're gonna do a lot of fucking around this episode, is what we can say I'm gonna do, because, to be fair with you, that's kind of what it's going to be. It's gonna be, um, you know, you'll figure it out by the title, of course. I don't need to tell you what it is. I'm also gonna do a lot of grinding in this episode, so... You know, hope you enjoyed that. <clears throat> Good morning, class. All right, time to take attendance. Everyone in your seats. After school, after attendance is taken, of course. Kaz, do you know what type of LBX you're gonna buy? Um... Well, Trooper was a night frame LBX, if you want to stick with the same kind of thing. He could also get another Trooper, but to be fair, um, troop that would kind of be fucked up, you know? Losing your own special Trooper and then replacing it with another Trooper, it's kind of like, I don't know, it's it's weird. It's moral-based bad things. Or if, if you like feel something something new, why not try a Strider frame like my Konoichi? We'll also explain what frames are later, like I said. Um, I'm more a fan of Brawler types like Hans Destroyer. But you also use a Strider Frame Amazon! What are you talking about? Um... No way! You should totally go for a Bulldoze! It can handle heavy weapons with ease, and it packs a punch! I believe Bulldozes are tank frames, by the way. It runs on tracks instead of legs, too, so it can just roll over anything in its path. Bulldoze rules! Um... I suppose there's the Wild Frame type, too, if none of those appeal to you. You should go with the Brawler Frame! Bulldoze, man! Bulldoze is not a frame! Um... You must have some kind of idea what you'd like. Um... Kaz lines just straight ums for nine minutes. You know what? I think this will be easier if we just head over to the Varos to see what's there. After all, seeing the LBX up close is way better than standing here thinking about it. That's true! So, you know, we're going back to the shop, apparently, which we were in, like, before. So... Oh, we can now use capsule toy machines! Oh, okay, well, there goes all the money I spent before, because, um, here's the thing. If you do a certain download thing that I don't remember how to do, I just know I did it on a previous save file, and now it's linked to all of my save files, but pretty much, there's a special capsule machine near Navarro's, or in Navarro's, and I actually went to it in the last episode on screen. I walked right next to it and see if I could do it or not, and basically... In that capsule machine, you can get a lot of really good parts. And parts that I should... I'm thinking about if I should use them or not in the uh, Let's Play. Because they are really good. And when I say really good, I mean really good. Like, let's just say this. If I already used them, the game would go on autopilot, basically. Well, it wouldn't go... Yeah, no, that's a fair statement. I wouldn't really have to try, to be frank with you. Uh, the only reason I'm trying now is because I have to stand up. It would just make the matches quicker, but, uh... You know, I'm asking you guys, should I use them? 
I'm at least gonna get them so I have them, but I'm asking if, should I, if I should use them or not. Because, uh, basically, they're hot here. Let me click on it now. Yeah, you click on this. Those are capsule machines. So, basically, um, these are special series. These are not normal. These, this one will not appear unless you do the Wi-Fi download. But basically, let's just go to the one I was thinking about getting first. It's called Achilles 2. It has a bunch of Achilles parts in it. You can get new OBX. Those things are basically better version of the current ones. Like Konoichi Ni and Hunter 2, which we'll get into that later. But... As you can see, there's an Atlas Shield and a Chiron Spear. Chiron Spear! In this point of the game, if I manage to get the Chiron Spear, would basically one-shot everything. Or like, two-shot everything, basically. And that's pretty good! And same with bosses, too. That would actually do a lot to bosses. And the Atlas Shield, well, it's just like, instant defense, nothing can touch me. Granted, I wouldn't do anything with my Shield Break, but you get the point. Like, really broken stuff. I am, once again, still gonna buy them when I get the money for them, but now I'm not going to, or at least for the moment. Let's talk to Ken. Hey, Kaz, come to get a new OBX? Well, I thought it'd be better to take a look at them rather than sit around wondering what to buy. Sounds good to me, but are you sure you've got enough money for a new OBX? I got nine grand. We can buy a new uh, trooper if you want, or we can try to get you one of those things in the capsule machines. Hmm. Well, now that you mention it, I do have a bit of a problem there. Well, have you been checking the quest board? It's kind of like a list of part-time jobs. People post their problems, and they'll reward you if you help them solve them. I didn't know you could do that. But don't our school rules forbid taking up a job? Chill out, Amy. No one will figure it out. You can access the quest board from the main menu. Give it a try. Yep, and that's what this episode's for, basically. We're gonna do a lot of grinding and a lot of, um... I guess, yeah, a lot of grinding and a lot of quests, because quest can get you money, which I'm immediately gonna spend on that capsule machine and try to see if I can, uh, get stuff. But... You can also get, um, you don't just get money from quests, you can also get items from quests, or, in later places, let me go to the party real quickly, in later places, you see these special attack routines right here, of the ones on the side that say special, that's how you get those. You do quests, and you will get them, but only certain quests do that. So, let's go ahead and start the quest. You can act, set an active quest here, select a quest from the list to see the details. When you set the quest, start off by seeking that person who sent it out. So, Lost Broadsword from Terrence in the Pacifica Sock Shopping Center. I've lost something really important to me, but I've been looking for it all day, but no luck so far. If you think you can come help me out, come to see me at Navarro's Plaza, or like the uh, small plaza behind Navarro's. So, we've actually ran into Terrence before, believe it or not. I did on screen because I thought I could, um, I thought he was going to give me something before. He didn't, which screw him for being cheap, but it's this guy right here. Hi there. So you've been read my uh you read my post on the quest board, huh? We LBX players should help one another whenever we can. Talk to the person with a red flag above their heads to proceed to the selected quest. Basically, yeah, they won't like have a special thing on the bottom, but if you just run around and find someone who has a red flag over their head, that pretty much tells you who they are. I just happen to know this because it's a tutorial mandatory thing. Let me get down to business. I'd like you to help me find something I lost. What is it? A broadsword. Oh, really? Well, good for you, mate. We have three of them, which is why I bought a second one. Not a real sword. An LBX one. Got it? It's got to be around here somewhere, but I couldn't find it. Will you help me look for it? Yeah, sure. Cool. I think I might have dropped the sword when I went to the store. You know, the store upstairs? Do you mind searching that area? I'll have another look around here. Hope we find it. So, I actually do have another broadsword. Here's the thing, though. You don't actually have to give him the broadsword he lost. You can buy a broadsword and just give it to him. That's what I did the first time because I couldn't find his broadsword. And then when I eventually found it, I was like, oh, cool. I got a free broadsword. But if you want to know where it is, because even though we already picked it up, so it won't show up here. But you will see a shining item right about here in one of these boxes. If you click on it, you'll get the broadsword. That's where it is. I don't know how he dropped it here, but he did apparently. So we already have it. I think we have three broadswords. So let's go ahead and hand this man a broadsword. Oh, you found it? Oh, I, why was the first option don't hand it over to him? Yes, hand it over. Hand it over, broadsword. Sweet! Man, I'm so relieved you found it. My bro would be so happy. You see, the sword isn't mine. It was my brother's birthday gift. Some mean kids at school forced him to give it to them. He came, crying, he came home crying that day. I won't have anyone bullying my bro. So I found those jerks and took the sword back. I got hungry on the way home and went to buy a snack. Must have dropped the sword then. I almost panicked. It'd be so embarrassing if I had to tell my little bro I lost a sword. You really saved the day. Thank you so much. But seriously? I was hoping my- I can't not read that anymore. I, I stopped caring. Okay, point is- Oh my god, we got so much money from that. 7k credits. 
that doesn't really do much because those capsule machines that I showed you earlier cost like seven grand per thing. So cool. That Terrence seemed really happy to get the sword back. It feels good to help someone, doesn't it? And don't forget, we also got some credits out of it. Now that's a break. Let's do more of these quests, guys. Sure, it may even be fun. But Kaz, why don't you get a new OBX first? We should head over to Nav uh, we should have we ah, we should have enough credits now. All right, back to Navarro's. It is. It doesn't force me in there, does it? Do I unlock more quests? Is my thing. If I don't, then I won't continue my story BS. Okay, I don't. So instead, we will continue the story as much as I thought. But also, here's another capsule machine. No, not me, Tomo. Actually, we could enter passwords now, but I'm not going to. Anyways, this capsule machine right here is always available to you regardless if you do the password download or not. But it's like, you can just get random items, and they're very cheap. Like, all the things in here, except for the LBX parts, typically cost more than 500. So basically, it's a way to get free, like, I guess cheaper versions of the items. But I just prefer the other capsule machine in here because Rail, yes, is very much more expensive. You get a lot more better drops out of it. For example, please let me get the cheer on spear. Do it. No balls. You won't. So you do that. Okay, cool. So you actually know what it is. If it's a blue ball, that means it's an item like because you're getting blue ball. <laughs> it means it's an item like the repair kit or a maintenance gauge. But um, as for anything yellow, it pretty much means it's a core unit, an item, or an LBX piece. So, oh, we got the Fangar! That's actually amazing! Because the Fangar is a core unit that is actually the same size as um, the regular core unit Kaz and Amy has. And I'm going to give it to Kaz because Kaz is more important to me than Amy. And instead of using one special attack routine of both like supercharged and not supercharged, you actually get to use three special attack routines, one special one, and then two normal ones. So now Kaz basically can just um, be, a oh wait, how do I move it again? I'm trying to remember how to move. Okay, okay, uh, that one. How do I take, there we go. So yeah, now Kaz can uh, do two. I really gotta give him the two commando pistols. We're I'm gonna do that now before I forget, cause He's gonna bother me if I don't give it to him, so... Kaz, take your two commando pistols, buddy. Actually, I just realized this episode might be more of a story episode than I want it to be, because, uh, whew, the amount of things we're gonna have to do unless I actually take over and then force Kaz to, um... Oh, no, yeah, this is just gonna be a story episode. Well, fuck what I said earlier. Apparently, it is gonna be a story episode. Okay, we'll talk to Ken, because we already bought everything from Sadie this chapter. Looks like you did a great job, and I see you've got the funds needed, so take your time and pick an LBX. The first thing that we have to look for is new LBX to raise his AC. Oh, right! Right, that's another thing, too. I forgot to mention, uh, Kaz's Gladiator, if I didn't mention it earlier, is a loner LBX, so while it is technically his, it does belong to Ken, so he's trying to get uh, enough money to pay it off as soon as possible. And I will mention frames, I guess, next time, maybe. Actually, also, uh, uh, yeah, I'll still say it this time. The first thing you should look for is uh, LBX to raise his AC. That's right. As you battle, you'll earn tune-up points to raise your AC. The same X-Armor frame with a high AC is way stronger than one with a low AC. Alright, let's go find an LBX for Kaz to get battling. Okay. Maybe you should just get another trooper if you can't decide on a, ne on a new one. Nothing seems to feel right, right for me anymore. If you're looking for an LBX, I've got something that might interest you. Huh? Busy as usual in here, I see. Ah, Mr. Hiyama, good to see you. Mr. Hiyama? Um, who's this guy, Chief? Sure, Mr. Hiyama here runs the coffee shop that opened up nearby. It's called Blue Cats, if I remember correctly. Nice to meet you all. Oh yeah, I know that place. That's the cafe just past Tachiya's book, right? Do you know? Do you two know each other? Well, myself and Mr. Rivaro here both enjoy LBX and a good coffee, so we've been getting along pretty well. What did you mean when you said you had something that might interest us? You mean you have- you mean you've got a new LBX? So you're interested, huh? Well, it'd be easiest just to show you. Why don't you drop by Blue Cats and see it? Really? That'd be sweet! Don't you dare bring me to Blue Cats. And it brought me to Blue Cats. God damn it. Weirdly enough, we've actually walked by the shop before, um, whether you believe me or not. Welcome to the Blue Cat's Coffee Shop. You're Van Yamano, am I right? Um, yeah, but who are you? My name's Tyler Osgood. I hear you guys are pretty good LBX players. There's something I'd like to see. But before that, would you show me your LBX? My LBX? Um, sure. 
Achilles, a white LBX, I see. Do you mind if I take a closer look? If you like. His name's Achilles. This is an impressive machine. You can tell just by looking at it? The parts are all the latest designs, and it's got a great balance. You've been taking good care of it, too. Well, to be fair, we've only had it for at most two days, so I'm not really that surprised. Yeah, he's awesome. I'd wanted my own LBX for ages, and now I finally got one. And it's a legendary one at that. You like LBX, then? I love them! I see. After all, playing with LBX somehow makes me feel closer to my dad. Anyway, this is what we wanted to show you. Whoa! I've never seen an LBX like that before. Is it a new model? That looks insane. Where's it been all my life? Okay, well, I think Kaz has found the one for him. Its name is Hunter. You want to put it together? Really? And this is why I love Kaz. Um, I'm not going to say anything, but we can imply what's about to happen. Oh my god, it looks so fucking cool. He, he's incredible. I'll say. I guess it's about time we told you why we didn't bring you here just to see this LBX. Hmm? What I'm about to tell you is top secret and completely confidential. Okay, guys, you heard it. Top secret. Tell no one about this. This is conversation between you, me, and them. Okay. You've heard of Stuart Vanguard, right? Stuart Vanguard? He's a new prime minister, Van. Honestly, anyone would think you didn't you don't go to school. Well, we've gathered from a reliable source that there's going to be an attempt on his life. What? We need to stop this plot before it's too late, and we need your help. I'm no expert, but, but wouldn't it be better to ask, I don't know, the police? You know, instead of a bunch of kids? Sadly, we can't even trust the police with this matter. It seems the enemy has people everywhere. You're the only ones we can rely on. Really? Only us? I feel like there are more capable people. The Lord of Destruction, for one, but whatever. Because I saw him walk in here with them, but whatever. But why us, exactly? According to our intel, an LBX will be used to carry out the assassination. An LBX? No way. I'm afraid so. <sighs> the only way to combat an LBX is to use LBX ourselves. And if we have to act, ah, and if we have to have any hope of success, we'll need the help of a skilled LBX players like yourselves. Van Yamano, Amy Cohen, and Kaz Walker. Please, would you lend us your skills to our cause? Mm. Mm. Of course, this is a very dangerous mission. If you refuse, we will respect that decision. But remember, you're also killing the country, so you don't really have a choice morally. Uh, I'll do it. Van? Well, it's not the dumbest thing he's done. Well, it actually is the dumbest thing he's done, but it's one of the dumber things. Hmm. I'll tell you again, it will be incredibly dangerous. I know, but I won't let people use LBX for evil and get away with it. That's why I have to stop them. I'll help too, yeah, because Van's gonna get himself killed. There's no way I'm letting Van do this by himself. What kind of friend would that would that make me? Amy. Uh, and you? I, I mean, I'd like to, but you see, my LBX got broke, so I don't have one right now. If you agree to help us, we'll give you that hunter armor we showed you. Let's go, boys! We got hunter! Kaz, accept the damn deal. Really? Well, I guess, in that case, I'm in. The parade takes place tomorrow morning. Let's meet at the parade route. Got it. And like I said before, you can't tell anyone about this. Not even your families. Anyone you, anyone you tell may be at risk of getting caught up in all this as well. We have Hunter now! Let's go! I love this. Equip the full set of Hunter parts to unlock the Stinger Salvo special attack routine. There are other special attack routines that can only be used when certain LBX parts or weapons are equipped. That is true. There are certain cases where you can get different special attack routines if you equip full armors. For example, Achilles does not get a certain special attack routine if he equips um, nothing. And there's actually... One or two weapons that get special attack routines if you equip those specific weapons. But Hunter, for example, he gets access to Stinger Salvo EX. That's what it means. Basically, it's special. Hunter only, and it only works if you have all the Hunter parts. If you have none of, if, if you only have one Hunter part, or if you have all of them except for one Hunter part, then you can't get special attack routine like that. But he gets a new lineup. He gets the Hunter frame. He's got that nice sniper rifle that you get for free. 
And I'm gonna equip him with our two broadswords so he has some physical weapons that isn't a gun. And then he changes his core units, which is upsetting, but it's fine. He gets the Scorpion H um, HG2, which basically increases sniper rifles. Or like, not sniper rifles per se, but basically sniper rifles. So I'm gonna just do some core unit customizing on Kaz real quickly, if you don't mind. And um, I would cut this out, but at the same time, like the amount of editing this would cause me to do. Frankly, I should probably just not do this now, and I should probably just wait till... Uh, yeah, I probably should just wait, but uh, I already have an idea for this. I'm just gonna quickly do it. And Manta for this. Not the prettiest thing, but I'll do it later when I actually have time. And for now, we'll just stick with that as our special attack routines with Stinger Salvo going over here. Okay, apparently I can't do that. Goes over here, and then we'll get Somersault Slash over here. And he still has his items, thankfully. And yep, yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for Hunter. So yeah, we got Hunter now, and I'm really happy by this because we finally have a new OBX. And we got an extroller message. Friend mail, let's go to the station. Uh, an assassination attempt on the Prime Minister Vanguard using an LBX of all things? I still can't believe it's true. I know we just met Tyler, but things are uh, escalated quickly, didn't they? For tomorrow, I think the fastest way to the parade route is by the train. Let's go to the Pacifica Station Center tomorrow. Yeah! So that's a thing, and like I said earlier, there are special attack routines that you can only get from certain weapons in LBX. Like, for example, Ruby Queen! If you remember that LBX from the uh, Hands of Hans BS, that's a special LBX special attack routine. Just saying. And of course we got no time to train. And I also forgot to use Gladiator. I built this episode so I can fucking show Gladiator off and I'm dumb. Oh, it's mom. Oh my god, it's gonna keep ringing until I actually pick it up. Van, what are you doing out so late? You should be home already. I expect you home soon, young man. Sure thing, mom. Wow, no counterback whatsoever. I would've definitely gotten for a counterback. Guess we better get going. See you guys tomorrow. Oh, he's practicing. Damn, that's actually quick. Oh, shit! His reaction speed is awesome. He moves exactly like I want him to. He's got an ultra-long-range centers, gyroscopic laser correction, trajectory analysis programs. No way! Look at that range! So this is a sniper-type LBX. That's not a real type, but okay. Alright, then fire! I was way off. This targeting system is totally different than what I'm used to. Hmm, the sights are a little out. I'll have to make some adjustments. I love this actually in the anime. Like, this is one of my favorite scenes. Okay, that should do the trick. Let's give it another try. Fire! Yeah, that was a lot closer. I missed again? Sure, he can shoot a long way, but that doesn't do a whole lot of good if I can't hit anything. I need some more practice. Yeah, because if you don't remember, we're fighting fire with fire, sniper v sniper. He's actually going to need that. I love those flashbacks, those are so cute. Dad. I can't believe someone would use LBX for something so evil. My dad didn't design them so people could use them that way. Dad's not here to stop them, so if anyone tries to use our LBX for evil, they'll have to go through me first! I won't let them get away with it! No matter how dangerous it might be. That reminds me of what that weird woman who gave me this LBX said. This LBX holds the key to saving the world. Maybe this is what she meant by that. Hmm. Van, I'm coming in. You're up late this evening. Yeah, I guess. Is everything alright, dear? Um, yeah, I'm fine. Does something have happened with one of your friends at school today? Amy, perhaps? Nah, that's not it. 
Oh, yeah, you know, we just destroyed Kazel BX. Don't worry, you know, it's fine. We got a sniper rifle of We're gonna fight fire. Oh, I mean, nothing, nothing, nothing. Well, make sure you don't stay up too late. We can literally see the daylight outside, but whatever. I can't tell you. I can't tell you. Sorry, Mom. Maybe we could tell him that we broke Kaz's LBX. Yes, I would like to save my progress. Unfortunately, I didn't get to run around randomly like I wanted to. Don't worry, I'll do that next time, and we'll just spend like 20 minutes trying to do random bullshit. The next morning. Oh, okay, yeah. Amy and Kaz are outside. I'm just gonna do this little bit of story, and then we're just gonna kind of run through whatever I feel like it, so give me a second. Amy, Kaz, sorry I'm late. Morning, Van. Kaz, how's Hunter doing? Uh, what's up? Don't you think it's all a little over our heads? What are you talking about? This is your chance to be a hero. Again? Well, I'm not sure if I can make the shot. It's not, I'm just not accurate enough. Well, you're gonna need to be, man. People's lives are on the line here. No, not trying to put pressure on you, but you know. I don't know how to do Don't worry, Kaz, it'll be fine. Shorter pat. But you said you'd help us. You can't back out now. That is true. We can't let people use LBX for evil. Yeah, you're right. Okay, let's head over to the par parade route. The train's leaving soon. We need to get to the station. Okay, well, guess what? That's not important. Because we'll end up doing that all in the next episode. So, I'm Andy here. I hope you guys enjoyed. In the next episode, we're going to do no story involvement. We're just going to do a bunch of quests and a bunch of side story grinding. And yeah, that's pretty much all we're going to do. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, join the Discord, follow Twitch, and I'll see you all in the next one. Don't forget to battle on.